Lula Guzali and her coach working hard now. Her coach has just had a tough experience with her previous skater and now has to give a blank slate to this, her next talent. And this skater actually earned 93.10 last season, one year ago at the Junior Grand Prix here, right here in Courchevel. So a big score for the free program. And can she match that here tonight? Skating to honor my mother in transcendence. Well, this skater has great lift. We didn't see them in the Salkow at the last jump, but the lift off the ice early on in the program, just really superb, big jumps. Absolutely, and again, <laughs> maybe it's the energy in the arena a little bit, but both of the last two skaters demonstrate such potential, such quality. Taught by the same woman, Malika Tahir. Both of them, to me, good jump technique, good skating skills, good finesse, good style. Just unfortunately too many mistakes for it to be easy for the judges to, to go with them. No question, well taught and 
you know, good programs, good outfit, everything is there. But learning to skate and learning to jump and learning to compete with all of that is a process. Absolutely. And you can see the input here. Look at the fingertip awareness, the extension right through to the fingertips. That's whether that's just the primary coach, Malik, or whether or not that's a team of coaches, a ballet teacher, an off ice teacher, there's good input that's been gone in. Perhaps now, just either it's fitness, either it's competition experience that's early in the season, perhaps it's sports psychology. This was a highlight. It started so well. The double axle, really good, strong back outside edge, pushing that up into that. Yeah. yeah. Huge airtime. Wow, a little bit too big, a little too far back on the heel and the landing. And at this junction, with this, the sequence double axle, Euler, triple salco, things were looking really good for Lola. And then things started to break down. Oh, this was okay too. It was the second loop that was the... You're cutting the replays. <laughs> <laughs> Here, I love this, Ted. Look, the fingertips still. Yeah, beautiful. Polished right to the end. And you can see as we work through this combination spin, this sit forward feature, sit side with a broken leg position. And then you'll see this illusion as a difficult exit coming up. Oh, sorry, that was on the next pin. Sorry, Ted. <laughs> ah, it's my fault. I knew it was coming. I've got it. <laughs> yeah, lots to admire. Just challenges under pressure. Well, it's some mistakes, but not all mistakes. She just needs an 85.93 to take the lead. So is that possible? Absolutely. Some great skills in that program. Some good qualities as well. Mistakes along the way. And there is the coach with both skaters. That's charming. That's delightful, that's intelligent, and that's caring. Beautifully done. For Lola, 88.66. That's first in the free program, so even with the mistakes, the qualities are recognized, and a total competition score, 134.93, and Lola will take over the lead at this point.